Video Radio, hello, Golf Bravo, Echo, Unimix, Charlie 172, taxiing for Banner pickup. I'm a passenger again today on board Simon's Banner towing Cessna 172. We're going to be towing an aerial message over Brighton Pride, the area's lesbian, gay, bisexual and transgender event. Simon, uh, bear to the right, there's a ditch in front of you. Roger, bearing right. Simon's set up his banner at a private airstrip just to the northeast of Brighton. Right, the line's still up, that's good. You can see the banner laid out along the side of the runway here. And the line Simon has to pick up is suspended between the two white poles here. The operation is complicated by there being diggers blocking the threshold area of each end of the runway. Getting all coffee and face raise rolling. Three, you see those power cables? Yep. Yeah. I'm planning to be off before then. <laughs> He'll fly a circuit, drop his hook, and try to catch the line. That's the hook being released from its takeoff position. It's now trailing behind the aircraft, ready to pick up the banner. When I last flew with Simon, he made this look easy, catching the banner on the first go. Cross. A little bit high. Looks good. Uh, uniform X-ray. Sorry, that was a miss. Come on. How close, Jack? It seems extremely close, but it, it just bounced over. Unfortunately, a strong crosswind and those diggers is making this more complicated. Lower, lower. Okay. Take two. Unfortunately. Let's hope it's third time lucky. Oh, we've overshot quite a lot. Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. just coming round this side. Left a little, left a little. Down a little. Down. Down. I think it's the right, mate. Yeah, you got it. You got it. Well done, Jack. That will do nicely. Well done, that man. Not the easiest job in the world, it is. He made it. Banner attached. It's time to head to Brighton Pride. Um, That's why I wear gloves. Because I get sweaty okay. palms. And of course, everybody can do it better than we can. On, on YouTube, everybody can do it better. He should have done this, he should have done that. Uh, don't you dare criticise my mate for his banner towing, right? On account of he's completely blind. <laughs> now that the line is attached, Simon's concern turns towards the weather. Strong winds and sharp showers can destroy the banner and make flying it very hard. Bad weather is on the horizon today. Showers building up over there. Yeah, and from the east as well, I think. When the banner gets wet, it doesn't fly so well. I've been caught in Brighton before when it's kind of closed behind me like a curtain. I've had to kind of go back through the valley. Golf Bravo Tango, Yankee Tango, short approach, standby. Other station calling, say again. Golf Bravo, Echo, Uniform X-ray Mar on the banner towing aircraft approaching from the Deanland direction uh, with about four and a half miles to run to Brighton Marina. We're going to be working the uh, festival for about uh, 30 minutes, uh, 1000 feet, 1015. Golf Uniform X-ray, Roger. Traffic for you is the police helicopter, also similar location, up to 1,500 feet. The Shoreham QNH 1016. 1016, ma'am. Uh, thank you. Noted the helicopter along the seafront where we may be dropping down lower, but I'll be watching the helicopter at all times. That's understood. There was also a shark helicopter which landed at a private site near Bright Marina. I'm not sure if he'll be lifting again. Roger, ma'am. Thank you. 
Okay, 1500 feet, uh, 1 o'clock. Looks like, okay, that, looks like the helicopter. Yeah, I can. Yankee Tango, show my place. Stationary, so that's probably the police helicopter. Yankee Tango, uh, just past Littlehampton, 2500 feet. Information, Juliet QNH 1016, request customer joint Caesar. You take control, the sec. 1016, uh, control. 3763, go for Yankee Tango. Keep going that way, I'll just tell the client we're inbound. Next. Roger, and look out for four aircraft known to the west, they six seven. Okay, I can take it back and you can fiddle around, do whatever you like. Roger. You have control. You see I have control. The leading the zone to the northwest should be on your left hand. These and these are good, pressure's good, temperature's good. Cylinder head temperature very important, it's good. Slow down, keep it cool. We soon arrive at Preston Park, where the crowd will be entertained when they complete their march through the city. There are people all in the street walking up, but um, that's the main London Don't Road there. Right, under the arch, I see, I see, yeah. yeah. Um, around just it. maintain 1,600 feet. What we're going to do is we'll go round and out. I'll ask them to go around the car station, then we'll go low level down the beach. Okay, hey, Roger. Got lots of people down there. I'm going to make sure coming out along the seafront now. Yes, make sure, Roger, and report turning east down again. Roger, and then we'll be back to the park, so we're in an orbit. But I'm looking at the weather, which is closing in fast, so uh, if the weather increases uh, its wind speed, I may cut my detail short. That's understood. Wow. Nice view. It's amazing, isn't it? where they get their money's worth. Go, bravo, bravo, Yankee, bravo, sure. Look at that. Yeah, Cuthbert, we're about four miles to the west of Worthing Pier, level of 1,600 feet for rejoin. What's the wind doing at the moment? You got some nice views in this shot, don't If you haven't seen my earlier video about how Simon tows banners, then you may like to take a look. It goes into far more detail than we have time for today. Down we go. There. You can clearly see that weather building up now and the showers on the horizon as Simon makes the turn. Uniform X-ray detail complete. Uh, I'm going to go back to Kitty Hawk because I don't like the look of that squall following us. Uniform X-ray, that's understood and she remains the same. Report changing frequency. Roger. Thanks for your help. You're welcome. I don't like that. No. It gets very unpleasant if you get caught by one of those. Because you're not manoeuvrable. Oh, it's close to the stall anyhow. Simon flies the banner with one stage of flap out yeah. and travels at 70 knots. At that speed, you don't want to be entering bad weather. And sure, I've got you on base straight on route, Mom. Thank you. Stop you from X-ray. Good day, thanks. Yeah, she's quite big, that one over there. I was doing one a couple of weeks ago, and uh, Essex and they mid afternoon, all of a sudden, they all popped up. They're like these big ones. They just popped up all over the place. I yeah. was raced back in again by the cloudburst. They just appeared. I could just hit that atmospheric point where they just went. Yeah. 
Yeah, I'm surprised how unstable it is today. I thought it would... Uh, there's a couple of drops coming through, isn't there? Yeah. Now, as Simon ably flies us back to our landing site, I want to give credit to all my followers who've recently passed their skills test and have become private pilots. July seems to have been a good month. Tom passed after learning to fly with Mersey Flight at Liverpool. Well done. Congratulations to Lee. He passed at Fair Oaks in July. I'm jealous though. My flying school didn't have bubbly on hand for that big occasion. Joshua has now got his licence after passing last month. He too trained at Fair Oaks. And a bit further afield, regular watcher Stefan from Sweden passed on the 27th of July after starting his theory studies the year before. And finally for now, Andy Gray goes to top of the class for passing his IR skills test, CPL and multi-engine piston in Poland. Well done to all of you and anyone else who's recently got their wings. It's no mean feat and you deserve all the credit for your determination and ambition. We're going to drop the banner now and Simon will operate this lever here, pull it down and the banner will, the hook will release and the banner will drop to the ground and then we'll go around and land. Kitty Hawk, or human race race final for a banner drop. Release roughly where they cross runway. Yeah. Fly back. They feel the cross, the cross look. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. Gonna blow that way, isn't it? Yeah. There we go then. And she's away. Now that the banner's gone, Simon can land. Loads of rem. Very good. It's good we landed when we did. Those showers bringing lightning and gusty winds weren't far behind us. Not something you'd want to be flying in anyway, let alone with a banner attached. That's all for now. Coming up soon though, in my next episode, I'll be going behind the scenes at Farnborough Radar, the UK's biggest and busiest lower airspace radar unit. Subscribe to the channel so you don't miss it. <laughs>